thank you for joining me today. I know that I have a couple new subscribers, so I wanted to say thank you and welcome. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And at least once a month, I like to highlight a brand and give a tutorial using some of their products and also go into the history of the brand. Today, we're going to talk about Makeup Forever and do a brown, smoky, everyday eye tutorial. So if that sounds interesting, keep on watching. To start off with, I am going to use, this is the e.l.f. Pro Eyeshadow Primer. And this is what the back looks like. This is the color Clear. And I'm currently testing this out to see how this compares to the Urban Decay Potion Primer. Here's what it looks like on the finger, but it goes, it dries clear. A matte shade, so I'm gonna start with this one, ME644, that color right there. And this is the kind of brush that I'm using. And it's a little bit of a fluffy, but not, it's got a little bit of a dense to it. This is the swatch of the color that I'm going to use. And yeah, we're just gonna go light handed into the crease and a little bit above. And I'm just gonna go back and forth very lightly just to get some color down and kind of circular motions. And I'm not going all the way to the inner corner. I just want to kind of create some definition with going just on the outer corners. So I think you can see that's just creating some kind of depth to the eye. And I'm going to take this is the Ulta Beauty eyeshadow brush. It's a little bit bigger than the other one, but a little flat as well. And it's got some movement to it, but it's not a big old fluffy brush. And we're going to go with a little bit of a darker color. And I'm just going to go from the outer lash line in but I'm only kind of going to the center and I'm not going to go all the way to the inner corner. This is slightly darker. This bottom one, this is I-544 and it's this one right here. So just slightly darker and I'm just kind of going back and forth in sweeping motions on this one to the center of the movable lid. I'm not going above the crease. And this color, I'm just going to very lightly on the end, my, I'm holding the brush at the end so that way I can get more of a light hand and not go too dark. And I'm just going to kind of flip, start with the corner of where the eye meet and just flick it up. I'm not creating a wing or anything. I'm just kind of flicking it up so that it creates an illusion of a little bit of a wing and you're moving the illusion of your eyes going up instead of drooping down. So again, just tapping it there and flicking it up. It doesn't really do much, but just a little bit lifts the eye up. So now I am taking, this is a cream eye color brush, and this is definitely more dense than the other brushes I was using. And I'm going to take the black and I just want to darken the outer corner up just a tiny bit more. So I'm not going to go really too far up or over, just a little bit in the inner corner and just back and forth motions. And very, very light handed. Now 
I'm going to take this as the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the dual sided brush that comes with the palette, the fluffy end. And I just want to kind of add a little bit more depth over here. So I'm going to go back in with this bottom shade that I used, swirl that around and over where I put the black and into the crease and up, I'm just going to do a circular motion right there. So I'm adding a little bit more color because I lightly tapped into it, but it's also mostly kind of moving around that color and blending it all together. That way the black isn't too dark and it isn't just kind of like a black eyeshadow. You really are just darkening up the brown. And I know it kind of looks like a mess right now, but we're going to clean it up. There's just a little bit of fallout, but that's okay. That's why I always do my eye makeup first. A little bit too much of that black, I feel like, around. So now I'm going to go in that same brush, this color up here. This is I-528. And... I'm going to take that again on that same brush and we're just going to go up here above the brow bone and round into the inner corner just to kind of blend that out. And then I'm going to take it right here and swipe it to the center and again we're just kind of blending that out. I don't know about you, but when I see all the fallout, I don't know why it just kind of distracts me. And then I can't always tell if I need to add anything or take anything away or blend anything out more. It just, I find it distracting. And I'm just using the Garnier Micellular Cleansing Water and a cotton ball to clean that up. And again, I'm going up on the eye as I'm cleaning it. So I feel like I like the outer corners and we're gonna add some eyeliner, but I do feel like the inner corners and kind of to the center needs to be brightened up a little bit. So I'm going to take, this is a Bare Minerals Light Stroke Brush and this color right here. This is ME512, this one. And let me swatch that for you. So see how that has some shimmer? Just a little bit. And I'm patting into it and I'm going to pat it onto the inner port of my movable lid right here. And I think that that will just brighten it up a little bit. So pat it on and then when you get to the inner to the middle just kind of swipe it back and forth and that will blend it in with the darker colors I think that's what it needed just a little bit brighter and I'm going to take that same shade and go up below my brow bone just to add some highlight there as well. And I'm using the same brush. I'm just gonna go a little bit with the original color, this matte color over here, with that same brush that I started with, and just a little bit of a circular right here. It's above the crease. I just feel like it needs a little bit more depth right there. And I'm not really moving it around too much. I'm just very, very small circle motion right there. Kind of 
right above the crease. I'm just going to take a clean brush. This is Wet n Wild, very fluffy. It doesn't look clean, but it is. And just go like that. I like to do this on the top. I feel like it just blends it out up there. Now for a liner, I'm going to use this is Laura Geller, the Incredible Waterproof Gel Eyeliner Pencil in Brown Eyed Girl. And here is what it looks like. Let's watch it for you. I'm going to bring this and I'm gonna put it to the center only of my lid. And I'm going close to the lash line as possible. I'm just kind of sweeping it kind of into the lashes, onto the lower lash line, or onto the lash line. This is a Wet n Wild, I don't know what the name of this brush is, but it's kind of like a smudge brush. It's very sharp and dense. And I'm just gonna smudge that in, go into the lashes and towards the center. I feel like this tutorial, I'm going a little bit more in depth on what I'm doing. So I'd love to know down below if you like kind of a more in depth tutorial like this. I'm going to finish my face and then I will come back and put on mascara and finish the eyes and talk about the brand Makeup Forever. Okay, so I put on better Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and e.l.f. This is the Dramatic Lash Kit. Which they weren't too bad to put on. I did get glue too much on the lashes, so I'll have to wait for that to dry. Let's put on some lipstick while we're waiting for them to dry because I have a feeling I might need to put on some eyeliner over them. If you want to see how I did the rest of my face, how I contoured and highlighted, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Let's talk about makeup forever. I only have three items from Makeup Forever and the reason that I did not purchase any more for this video was unfortunately they are not cruelty free. They do sell in China. But I have the items so I wanted to use them since I have them. What I have here is this is the HD high definition powder. It's the translucent and here's the container that it looks like. And this is $36 for this size. This is 10 grams and it is made in France. And it, this is talc free, so that is a good thing. It's easy to use, you know, it doesn't, even though it's translucent and looks white, it doesn't make you look white, um, but it's very easy, lightweight to use. It gives a nice finish. The other thing that I have that I put on today is the lipstick. And this is the Artist Rouge Cream Lipstick. And the color I have is C20, C211. Here's what the package looks like. And here's what the lipstick looks like. It's got the Makeup Forever and the silver here. And it is your traditional bullet lipstick. Here is how it looks swatched. Here's what it's on, so pretty true. It's very, very creamy. This is $22. It's pretty long wearing. Of course, it doesn't, it's not a liquid lip or anything like that, but I did have a tint even after I ate and drank dinner. So fairly long wearing. I will say that the cap did seem to come off. Like here it's pretty, it sounds like it, you know, closes pretty good. But a couple times that I had it in my purse, it did come off easily. So if I carry this with me, I always make sure to carry it in the box just so it can't come loose in my purse. So I don't know if anyone else has had that problem, but I had it a couple times. And I felt like I had the cap all the way on. Maybe it was my bad and I didn't. And the third item that I have from the brand is this is a nine shadow palette. 
and this exact one is no longer available, but they do have other nine shadow palettes and they are $25. It is made in Italy and they do have the shade names on the back. They, as you can see, are letter and number. They have the nine shades and the current palettes that they have are set up the exact same way. I won't swatch these since this is not available anymore. I will swatch them on my Instagram. So if you want to see how they look swatched, head on over there. But I figured I didn't want to swatch it and then you guys love the color and can't get it anymore. But like I said, there are other nine color palettes available. It's a magnetic closure. It's a heavy, sturdy cardboard. So those are the three items that I have from them. I like them. If they were not cruelty free, I probably would look at getting more items, but I really am trying to be conscious of that on my channel. The goal of the company, the owner was, she wanted to provide professional makeup that professional makeup artists wanted to use and liked, but that also could be translated for the everyday woman and that she could use them without too many problems or feeling like, oh, I don't know how to use this. I don't know how to put them together. So it's made for both professional and the everyday woman. The founder is Danny Sants. I think I'm saying her. She started out as a sculpturer and painter, and she got the idea when she was working on set in Paris. They wanted her to paint one of the performer's body. And then when she was, the performer was on stage and how Danny saw the makeup that she painted the body, like how it moved under the light, and she just really was captivated by it and more interested in it. So she knew then she wanted to take her life in that direction of going more into makeup. The name comes from, again, that direction of wanting it to be for the pros, for you, and forever. So it's for everyone. The first product line that was introduced was in 2008, and that was the HD product line. The Ultra HD was in 2015, and that was to help with the 4K, things being filmed in 4K. And I found it interesting. I was looking on their sites and they have some how-to videos, which I thought was really cool. I'll be showing some pictures of these items here. And I do like all of their packaging. It looks very sleek and clean. Their price point for me personally is a little bit high. Mascaras kind of run around $23. Lip glosses and liquid lips are $20 and some of the larger palettes are $45. I did notice they are available on their own website and also at Sephora, and some Sephora exclusives was a very high price point in my opinion. They had a foundation palette that is $110 and a flesh color palette that is $99. So that's probably more for the professional makeup artist or if you just really wanna try some high-end products. But for me personally, especially being non-cruelty free, way too high of a price point for me. It is sold in Sephora and on their site. And if you're looking to, for Halloween maybe, to get some special effects makeup, you definitely should check out their site. Again, I'll be putting some pictures here. They have some wax for $11.50, liquid latex for $23. And so it's just fun to look through if you wanna get some ideas or check that out to really do some special effects makeup. I did find it was interesting. They do not ship to PO boxes or currently internationally on their site. And in 2009, they did eliminate the use of parabens in their products. Most of their items are gluten-free, but not all. So you do have to look specifically by item on their website. That is a little bit about Makeup Forever. I just found it very interesting to know how the owner, how she got started, why she decided to go into creating makeup Here is the eye look finished an everyday smoky brown so the question of the day i have a couple i'd love to know if you liked this more in-depth tutorial and also i'd be curious to know if you have tried anything from makeup forever or if you're going so to thank you for watching i hope that you enjoyed learning a little bit about makeup forever and how to do a brown eyeshadow tutorial I hope to see you back here next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.